Hi, I'm Matt and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to talk to you all about my story, how I became an estate agent to where I am today. So before we get started, this was not an overnight success, I can tell you. <laughs> there was a lot of hard work, determinations, doubt, um, fear, and some real good strategy. These are the things that we're going to talk about in the video that's coming. So as I mentioned in last week's video, you should not become an estate agent in the UK if it's about earning a ton of cash in year one. Do not get me wrong, there are so many rewards for this career which I've experienced over the 28 years of doing it, but you've just got to be patient at first. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Matt Giggs. I'm an estate agent of over 28 years. I've been an estate agent, a trainee, a junior, a manager, a director. Now I've got my own estate agency and I've coached business owners in this industry to scale their businesses too. So if you're an estate agent or a estate agency business owner and you're looking to scale your business without the sleaze or just find out more about how the industry actually works, please hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell so whenever I'm putting some videos out there, you're gonna to get to hear more about this brilliant industry that we're in. So I was barely 20 when I started in this industry and for me I look back at that time and I recall certain moments where it really shaped my career. It really, it really helped me now to look back and understand what was I doing back then that really worked as opposed to what was I doing back then that didn't. Because when you're new to this industry, when you join it, you kind of do what you're told, right? And there was definitely a method in the corporate world about trying to close and push people for viewings and appointments and, you know, we'd have sessions where you'd be punting, they called it, and you drive up the volume and all this kind of stuff. But absolutely, it was going against what was internally telling me how I needed to operate, which was instead of trying to book people to view properties that absolutely didn't meet their needs, understand what the needs were and then find the property which matched. So it really started to, to figure out when I had this call uh, six months in, I remember this guy who was way longer in the tooth than I was at the time. I'm six months into this journey and still just barely, I think I just got my driving license at the time. And, and, and I never forget it. I mean, the regional manager helped me get a loan. I mean, that's pretty incredible. And I certainly owe, owe him a, a debt of gratitude. But I remember this call coming from one of the senior guys around the area saying, how are you doing so well? How come you're getting so many completions? And he knew that I was new. He knew that I'd never done it before. And, and it's really interesting when I think about that, that call that I took, because I didn't even know back then what was I actually doing that was working. But I know now, that's why I'm here teaching you, because I know now that if you, if you become inauthentic and really uninterested in what your client and your customer really truly needs and, and, and understand that, you move into a different place. You move into a place where no other agents really, really explore, which is to understand first, to really give time, give your, your focus and your attention to someone because the more you understand them, the more you're gonna find the answers and the solutions. What I was so keen to do at the beginning is I really wanted to please people. That was my main kind of like value, if you like. I loved recognition. I loved people to say, well done, you've done a great job. So for me, reviews, which you'd probably call them today, but testimonials back then, praise, that kind of stuff. Being a high achiever was one thing, but doing it the right way was definitely another. And I think across my journey in my early years, I really understand now by looking back as to how I made such a, a success of it in the earlier years. And when I moved away from those values, when I moved away from that and into numbers and into trying to get deals and push teams to do results, it became a struggle. I stopped enjoying it quite so much. And you know, I, ended, I, I kind of ended up resenting it a little bit, if that makes sense, because actually what we were gearing up to do was to, to not really help people. And fundamentally, that's what you've got to have if you're going to be a successful real estate agent in this country. You've got to really, truly want to help people. And when you really help people, you definitely help yourself and your needs too. So it's really interesting. I kind of go back to these moments. And I don't reflect enough um, about the earlier years. And I think that's possibly because I can't still believe it was like 27 or 28 years ago that I was new to this industry. But there's a lot of fundamentals that really haven't changed, which is really why I still talk about it a lot now. 
Um, and it, for me, the, the heart of estate agency is in conversation and really understanding that in a, a, a digital world and an age where everyone's trying to push people down a path of clicks and emails and texts and WhatsApps and all of these different things. And I find myself doing it sometimes, but when I go back to that moment and think about some of the sales that I made, some of the results that I achieved, I look back and it was down to brilliant conversations. It was down to just understanding people and really building that connection. You know, being in the car with them wasn't a disadvantage, it was a benefit because we were in the car together. We were able to talk about the area that we were driving around and what they'd done before and which houses they'd gone and looked at and what drew them to this one. And, you know, you're really starting to understand that client more and more and more. And what's interesting is when you start to do that, you start to really get into the mindset, you're starting to walk a mile in their shoes, which means you're at an advantage because most clients don't even know that themselves, right? They don't even realize, they don't know what they don't know. So your job as an agent is to really get in their mind and then come back out, is to get in their mind and come back out and absolutely understand what are the things they can't compromise on? What are the things that they have to have? What are the musts? When I started an agency, you used to get these questions thrown at you to ask people, you know, what do you want? And so on and so forth. What are you looking for? And all of that dross. Now for me, that's like, no, 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 no. Look, for me to really help you, I've got to know what you don't want. I need to understand what you don't need. What, what, what can't you live without, right? Because if I'm gonna help you, I don't wanna show you a million properties, 10 houses on a Saturday, if really the two that I've got that are most appropriate, that are gonna fit the needs for your lifestyle or your investment, they're the ones that we need to spend time in. What's the point in skipping around 10 houses whilst there's two that you should spend maybe an hour in each, right? And we dig into the detail to make sure it meets your your fulfilled needs. And I, and I think when I go back in time and I look uh, at those moments and those sales and what I can learn from back then and bring to the table now, it's, it's giving people time. It's not being in a rush. You know, I've been in agencies and I've gone to, to talk and, 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 and met companies where they've asked me to train their staff and you'd sit down and you'd hear someone taking a call and the client would say, I want to look at this property and, you know, an email will come in and, with that, and straight away they book it in. That's it. Off they go. Then they go out to the property and guess what? 95% of the time, they don't want to buy it. So 95% of their time out there doing appointments is with people that aren't going to buy the properties that they're viewing. What's the point, right? Spend more time understanding your customers' needs. Then, if you haven't got the solution available to you in your office on the market at that precise moment in time, I bet one of your competitors, <laughs> one of your competitors, excuse me, might have, or um, you might well be able to find something that you've been to before that you can go and link them to right now. So I think. Where I understood this, this is about matching people up. This is about opportunity spotting. This is about understanding customers and then really taking them to the place where their heart and head will be solidified. Because how many times do you know, right, when you show someone a house and, and they fall in love and then next thing you know, they don't want to buy it. Two or three weeks later, they get buyer's remorse, they change their mind. It's because the logic didn't justify that emotion. For me, an estate agent's got to bring both to the table. They've got to really understand that why and then the how, okay? And that's what I really did back in my earlier days. I knew how a estate agency really was without even knowing how it really was. You know, I look back now and go, how the hell did I do that? But it's because it was natural. The reason I've put real estate agent is because you've got to be you first. The moment I stepped outside of my, my kind of authenticity, if you like, and started to try and be someone that I wasn't, it was the moment that you can really disconnect. It's the moment that you actually build that, you're almost putting a barrier up between you and your client. So, you know, if you're gonna take anything away from these videos, for me, it's really understanding who you really are. And if you're gonna be in this industry, you've gotta really understand that that's your job to understand the client. You need to speak their language, not them needing to speak your language. You've got to give people time to understand. Do the investment piece right at the front end. Spend more time understanding, and then you'll spend less time wasting 
their time and yours moving forward. You're gonna help people to move into the right properties rather than maybe show a little bit of interest in the wrong ones. So I think from your perspective, if you take anything away, take that and use it. Go and invest time in those front end conversations. So there you have it. There's how I became an estate agent at the tender age of 20. So if you enjoyed this video, please just hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you'll get more of this content. And the other thing I would say is there's a notification bell, press that, right? Because you're gonna see my videos come up on a more regular basis, and you're gonna start to hear more content, which is gonna really fit your needs too. The other thing I would say to you is request videos put some requests in, ask us for videos on subjects and topics that you really wanna understand more about because we can advance that, accelerate that forward so you get exactly what you need from this channel. So all the links to my website and resources are in the description box below. Help yourself to those, I hope you enjoy them. So finally, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next week.